With the recent successful research undertaken by the University of Pretoria using the facilities here at the Ukutula Conservation Center and our animals, it is interesting to note that some individuals and also in the media, there seems to be a misunderstanding with regard to the value of this research. The reproductive research, although lions are used, does not primarily focus on the lion but focuses on other species or the application of the research will focus on other species that do not have the same success of breeding in captivity. As everybody knows, lions are excellent breeders in the wild and in captivity. So the research is not to further reproduction of lions in captivity or in the wild, but is focused on using the lion as a model species so that research information can be applied to other cat species that are far more endangered than lions. And there one can perhaps mention a simple example of the Scottish wildcat, which has gone extinct in much of its natural range. And these techniques have successfully been applied to critically endangered cat species, such as the Asiatic golden cat, uh, with great success. So it is important to understand that the research undertaken at Ukutula by the University of Pretoria has tremendous value, not for the lions, but for other endangered cat species. So the success that has been attained with the current research, the world first successful artificial insemination and the uh, resulting birth of two lion cubs really marks a stepping stone towards meaningful conservation initiatives that can be applied to a critically endangered cat species. It is very clear that there is a wrong perception among the public and some media that Ukatula is a commercial breeding facility. We just like to categorically state that this is not the case. Ukatula does have a breeding program which is a controlled veterinary supervised project so as to be able to host various research projects. For years, Ukutula has been criticized for the research that has been undertaken here. And one wonders what the motives are of these critics that keep pointing a finger at Ukutula. One thinks of critically endangered species that could benefit from this research. Yet not one word, one positive word, is ever said about the value of the work that is done at Ukutula which really questions the motives of our critics. Are they really interested in saving these species? Do they really have such a great love for animals as they claim? Or has Ukatula taken the rug from under their feet by proving that research is important and that they are now not able to use the emotion and sensation of the very important subject of conservation so that they can collect funds and receive donations from people who are, are ill-informed or misinformed by them. We strongly agree that the preservation of the natural habitat or the natural range of wild animals is probably the most important concern when it comes to conservation. But the reality is that in many cases the natural range of these animals has already been destroyed or has already been overrun by humans, encroached on by humans, where these animals are now in conflict with humans. So does that mean that research and having these animals in captivity has no value? Of course not. These animals, whether their natural habitat has been destroyed or um, has shrunk to the point where they cannot survive in, in the wild anymore or that they cannot freely roam where they used to roam centuries ago does not negate the fact that research needs to be done and that research by reputable institutions such as universities and other facilities such as zoos can have a great beneficial impact on the conservation of endangered species. Research is one of the many tools that are available to conservationists in order to 
save or to manage species. Preservation of natural habitat, of course, is also a very important tool. And so there are various tools that are at the disposal of trained conservationists to be able to benefit any species. The same critics who are so vocal about the research on the lions at Ukatula fail to keep in mind that other research projects, such as the research on the black-footed cat, the caracal, the cheetahs, the hyenas that have been undertaken at Ukatula also serve to further conservation on these various species. So why is it that continually the lions are singled out? Is it perhaps because that is their focus? Is it perhaps because that is where they earn their money and uh, entice the public to donate, donate, donate? Perhaps it's their stream of income that is dependent on this uh, media misinformation that is uh, overwhelming in the media today.